January 14th. The reading is entitled, Burning Fire. Hark the voice of Jesus calling, who will go and work today? Fields are white, the harvest waiting, who will bear the sheaves away? Loud and long the master calleth, rich reward he offers free, who will answer gladly saying, here am I, O Lord, send me. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in mine heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. Jeremiah 20 verse 9 God will move upon men in humble positions to declare the message of present truth. Many such will be seen, hastening hither and thither, constrained by the Spirit of God, to give the light to those in darkness. The truth is as a fire in their bones, filling them with a burning desire to enlighten those who sit in darkness. Many, even among the uneducated, will proclaim the word of the Lord, children will be impelled by the Holy Spirit to go forth to declare the message of heaven. The Spirit will be poured out upon those who yield to his promptings. Casting off man's binding rules and cautious movements, they will join the army of the Lord. In the future, men in the common walks of life will be impressed by the Spirit of the Lord to leave their ordinary employment and to go forth to proclaim the last message of mercy. As rapidly as possible, they are to be prepared for labor, that success may crown their efforts. They cooperate with heavenly agencies, for they are willing to spend and be spent in the service of the Master. No one is authorized to hinder these workers. They are to be bidden Godspeed as they go forth to fulfill the Great Commission. No taunting word is to be spoken of them, as in the rough places of the earth they sow the gospel seed. Life's best things, simplicity, honesty, truthfulness, purity, unsullied integrity, cannot be bought or sold. They are as free to the ignorant as to the educated, to the black man as to the white man, to the humble peasant as to the king upon his throne. Humble workers who do not trust in their own strength, but who labor in simplicity, trusting always in God, will share in the joy of the Savior. Their persevering prayers will bring souls to the cross. In cooperation with their self-sacrificing efforts, Jesus will move upon hearts, working miracles in the conversion of souls. Men and women will be gathered into church fellowship. Meeting houses will be built and schools established. The hearts of the workers will be filled with joy as they see the salvation of God. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.